Hello again, I'm just going to continue on with um, the example, um, with some examples of short division, given that the last video I did was on short division. So we'll go through a few that I've got written down here. 234 divided by 4. So it will look like this. 4 goes into 2. It doesn't. Because 4 is bigger than 2, and any time the number outside the bracket is bigger than 1 inside, especially, the, sorry, when it's bigger than the first number, that's when we put a cross. If it's bigger than any others, we just put a 0. So 4 into 2, it, it won't fit, so we put an x. 4 into 23, so I, I know that 5 falls are 20. And if we added another 4 to that, it's 24, it's too big. So the number that we put on top of here is 5. And how many do we need to go from 20 to 23? We need to add 3. So there's 3 remainders. And then 4 into 34, exact same thing. I know that 4 times 8 equals 32. But I need it to be 34. It means I've got to add 2 to be 34. I put my 8 here, and I put my 2 remainders, 2 remainder at the end there. So that's how we do that one. So, now if we were going to do one more question that is up here. How many times does 9 fit into 742? 9 into 7 doesn't fit, 9 into 74, 8 9s are 72, put an 8 there, I need another 2 to go from 72 to 74, that means I put the 2 over here, 9 into 22 fits 2 times, so 4 remainder, and I know that because I know that 1 9 is 9, 2 9s are 18, and then I need to add 4 to 18 to get my 22, which I was looking for do want to show something else as well. Let's say I wanted to do 9 into the number 2516. 9 into 2 doesn't work. 9 into 25 is 2 remainder 7. Because 2 9s are 18, as we just established before. 7 plus 18 to get it to 25. 9 into 71 is going to be 7 remainder 8 and 9 into 86 will be 9 remainder 5. Your remainder numbers, that one there, that one there, this one here, they always have to be less than the number that you're trying to divide by. If they're not, you've got a problem. We can't ever, if we're trying to divide something by 9, you can't have remainders that are greater than 9. It means that another 9 could have fit. And therefore, you need to make sure that you don't make that mistake. Now, I want to show another example. So let's say, how many times does 4 fit into the number... To, uh, let's go 20,016. So 4 into 2 doesn't fit. 4 into 20, or 4 fives are 20. We can put that on the end there. 4 into 0. Now 4 doesn't fit into 0, but we don't put a cross now. That's only for the first column, which we've already done. So we just put the amount of times that it fits in. 4 fits into 0, 0 times. Then we have to combine the two. 4 into 1. It also fits in 0 times. Then we need to combine all three. 4 into 16. And it fits 4 times. So I've got my answer as 20,016 divided by 4 equals 5,004. And as with all things, you can always, with multiplication and division, you can use the opposite one to check. 
So if I had 5004 and I wanted to multiply that by 4 to see what it would get, I'll probably do it a little bit higher so there's a bit more space. 5004 multiplied by 4, 4 times 4, 16, 4 times 0, 0, 4 times the other 0, 0, and then we do 1, 2, 3, 4 times 5 is 20, and then when you add all those up, you will end up getting 20,016 when you add these three together. So that's just something to keep in mind. Any time that you're trying to do a division and the answer is, and it's not in the first column, then you just put a zero and you have to combine it with the next one.